That would be, dude, that would be an insane moment. If Peter Parker was uh, going to trial for all of Spider-Man's alleged crimes against Mysterio, and then the theater reaction when they revealed Saul Goodman was his attorney, holy cow. Your Honor, would we put a dog on trial? Would we debase the ladies and gentlemen of the jury by attempting to interrogate and cross-examine a housefly? Well, show me in the code of laws that make up this great nation where it says we can put a half-man, half-spider on the stand. Saul Goodman defending Morbius? Your Honor, in my client's defense, he did say it's Morbin time before he morphed. How can he- well, no, 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 we gotta do it the opposite way. How could we consider this to be first-degree morbing? First-degree morbing requires intent. And what's my client's most famous catchphrase? It's morbing time. Now, Miss Jennifer Garner, did you hear my client, Dr. Michael Morbius, say it's morbing time? No? Then I posit to the court this could not be first order morbing. It's second, maybe morb slaughter. Even the baby liked that one. Bob Odenkirk kind of goes crazy, huh? Does he say it's morbing time in the movie? We have a, a two year spoiler window here. I've seen some clips that seem to indicate that, oh, he says it. <laughs> and the audience goes crazy. It, and it happens during his fight with Venom. I, but I don't know if it's Venom, because all I know is it's the, someone in the symbiote suit. Dude, what if Morbius puts on the Venom suit? Holy cow, okay, maybe this is too far. I don't want to give Sony any ideas. I'm still waiting for uh, Spider-Man, but he wears roller skates. Or what, what was it? In the, in the Sony Pictures email leaks is like, um, kids these days love skateboarding. What if, what if we put uh, Peter Parker on a skateboard in the new Spider-Man movie? It's so good. Well, I've said my piece on, like, if... Well, because I thought that... Look, I'm going to reiterate some of Monday and Tuesday's memes, because it's possible, you know, it, it, it's been... That's ancient history now, right? Um, but... When they brought Morbius back to theaters by memeing it into existence, I saw a lot of hand-wringing on social media, like, oh, look what you made them do. Wow, are you happy now? And I was like, yeah. Because, like, it's a huge company wasting their money. It's hilarious. It's, like, the funniest thing of all time. Why would I care that Sony is wasting their money redistributing Morbius? Like, it's just... I mean, honestly, if you're that stupid that you think that this is how you're going to capture the zeitgeist, you should give the money to other people. Because you don't deserve it. If they greenlight a Morbius 2 because of the memes, my personal prediction, and this doesn't mean that it would necessarily come true, but my personal prediction would be that they would lean hard into the self-awareness and in doing so create a movie that's actually even worse than Morbius 1 but for all the wrong reasons. And that would be hilarious too, because it would also cost a lot of money, and then my expectation is it would make almost nothing, much like the original Morbius did. So, I think that would also be hilarious. Wouldn't bother me at all. Like the whole point, I don't, I don't know if people necessarily lost this somewhere along the way. The point of the Morbius memes is that nobody cares about the movie at all. So it's funny to suggest that it's going to be the most successful and critically acclaimed movie of all time. So if if Sony doesn't under they only see the tweets and the frequency of them and they don't understand that the reasoning behind them is because your movie is so bad um, and so uninteresting that nobody wants to see it, and then they end up spending like, you know, 40 million dollars. I don't know how much Jared Leto's call rate is these days, but... Or any days for that matter. Um, since he was Jordan Catalano on My So-Called Life. But if they want to spend the money on that, then, I mean, by all means. It made 50 grand at the box office. Oh, hey, bro, hey, come on. It made 50 grand at the box office when it re-released. Which is truly horrible, don't get me wrong. But, it must, if, I, I haven't looked it up. If I had to guess how much Morbius made when it came out to theaters, I bet it made 
I bet it made $35 million. Which is very low. Can I can I get some box office mojo check? Okay, it made 50 more billion. Sure, okay, it made 50 more billion dollars. It made 100 and, okay, 163 million worldwide. What's the domestic? 40 million? 74 million domestic? What you what do you mean look what you made them do? You think spreading the memes is going to lead to a sequel? You almost took that thing to 100 mil. That's not that much money, but it's for a movie, but it's certainly like more than Morbius should have made. What the hell's wrong with you? $270 for theater average in the US. Oh man. I mean, $164 million worldwide? It's not good, but like for a, a kind of Marvel adjacent movie, I suppose, but that's not it. I thought it was an insane flop. Like, I, thought, I, I guess that's what a superhero flop looks like in 2022, but. How many people watched it at IMAX? <laughs> Dude, did any movies have like the promotional cups and stuff like that? Or do any theaters have like promotional cups? Dr. Michael Morbius promotional 72 ounce theater soda cup? It's kind of crazy. I do, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have sympathy for those involved in its production. But it does have to be kind of a hard pill to swallow. That like this thing that you worked on probably for like two years and were really excited about when the marketing material came out, everyone immediately spotted that this was going to be like a piece of complete dog shit and just started making fun of it relentlessly. And then the jokes were so obviously more entertaining than the thing that you worked on yourself that it ke ironically kept it going. Like it's just an endless... Uh, an endless content water wheel, right? On the other hand, it is very funny. 